Welcome to the Steam Smart Podcast, the podcast that's all about Steam, the blockchain-based social media platform that's taking over the world. I'm here today with Stephen Polsky at Sneaky Squirrel. What's up, guys? And Renee Nouveau at Renee Nouveau. Hi, everybody. Now, this is Renee's first time, and we're glad to welcome her. So and, I'm George, and I'm George Donnelly. And uh, today we're talking about what Steemit needs now. So, uh, Stephen, our, you have brought our first topic about the Steam Bounty System. Why don't you tell us about that? So the Steam Bounty System, I'm actually very excited because it um, further decentralizes the platform to actually continue the vision that uh, Ned and... Um, God, I... That Ned has. Dan. Hey, Dan, Dan. Oh my God. Sorry, Dan. Sorry, don't punish Dan. me. Don't. <laughs> Off with his head. Fire. <laughs> um, yeah, so the, the bounty system that Ned and Dan um, have offered uh, just, to, just to speed up production of the platform is, is killer. And it also, um, I'm, it, it makes sense to me why they've had to release more of that steam power into the system, doing that, uh, doing the power down for a little bit. Um, they they want to get more money into the system and give more access to developers so that they can build a bigger brand and get some more influence for themselves. So this bounty system, um, you they've got tasks of you know just taxes. Here. Did you say uh, taxes? <laughs> tasks? Tasks. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say taxes oh no. no that's a dirty word don't we don't <laughs> we don't use those words here no. <laughs> yeah so uh, but these uh this these tasks uh one of the first first tasks right off the bat they said was design build and operate an open source open data independent website or system that can be integrated into steam it for managing bounties so you know they just want an easy ui where you can just pick up topic, start working on it, and posting your solution, and the best solution is picked and paid out. And even in some cases, as it was mentioned, they actually plan on uh, uh, reimbursing the subsequ uh, The answers were submission for milestone one um, can be, they want to do multiple submissions for milestone one. Um, so they actually have a plan to pay out uh, for several solutions, even though, you know, only one's going to be picked. So that's just a good example along with, uh, you know, an infinite variety of opportunities for developers. And now I think marketing is also going to be uh, a bounty opportunity. Mm -hmm. So, so let's take a step back. So bounty. So, you know, when I was a kid growing up in the eighties, you know, bounty paper towels. Okay. <laughs> for those for those non-tech people in, uh, who are listening, uh, what is a bounty? What is that? And what's the benefit to the, to the average user? Uh, well, well, so you grew up bounty, the paper towels. I got, uh, I got freaking uh, what's his face? Bounty hunters. Um, okay. Yeah. 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 So I, when I think bounty, I guess I, Boba I, Fett. yeah, Boba, <laughs> precisely. That's the first bounty hunter. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then, so I, I immediately under, at least to me, I understand what a bounty is typically, um, perceived as it's usually in the manhunt category, um, which has that negative connotation that we would like to avoid, but it's, uh, it's in this context, it's for program. It's for, um, UI bounties and for, um, and for content that needs to be added is, is identified as like a base infrastructure development and they just don't have the manpower to build it themselves as quickly as it needs to be built. And mm. so that's, uh, that's the benefit or that's what the bounty system is in this context. So if there's a feature that I want, can I use the bounty system to get it? Yes. Uh, as long as you have enough stake and you're uh, in Steam, and Steam dollars, you can actually post on the bounty system yourself and get actual people with uh, some skills to develop it for you. And gives you a lot, gives you a really big uh, pool 
of talent to pull from if you and you know i think that's just further enforcing the uh the community of steam mm-hmm I, I, see. I hope so, that the, the monetization of the reward system doesn't take away from the people who are super passionate and volunteering their time because they love Steam and Steam it. And I hope that it doesn't bring in people who maybe just see the monetary reward of suddenly being like, oh, well, I'm a programmer. This website is now, uh, could be a job for me. I don't know anything about Steam or Steam it. So I just don't want it to detract from that passion from our volunteer base. But it would be mm. nice to reward those people who are putting in the, the, the miles to code things. So it's, a, it's a, a way that people who want new features or want things to get done, they can pony up a little bit of money as like a reward for the person who comes along and do, does it. Is that right? Yes. And, uh, you know, that, that's just going to further, like I said, it reinforces that community um, that community standard that Steam it's going for because when they post up their uh, their solution, they get the money, it's posted up um, for everybody to see on the blockchain. And that's gonna that's gonna really inspire certain special projects that they don't wanna go for a bounty system for, but they're gonna wanna they're like, that's the guy. That's the one I want. Um, uh, he's already done this, this, that's already perfect for what I need. I'm going to snag that person for my personal project. Um, so it's, it really gives you a further name rather than just, Hey guys, hey, this is what I built. I hope you guys upvote my stuff. Yeah. And then it, it, it disappears into the abyss of steam it. <laughs> and so, so let's say I'm a regular person. Is there any benefit, you know, like, let's say I don't have a lot of steam power. Let's say uh, I don't, I'm not a, a programmer. Is there any benefit I can get out of it? Yeah, like uh, I did mention marketing. Uh, there's going to be people. Um, I will, I, I, for sticking gets another shout out for me. I'll always uh, go on the vet or go on the steam speak guys. It's awesome. For sticking is the host of it very graciously. I'm always just going to throw that in every episode. Um, but yeah, uh, for sticking actually is paying uh, for real advertisement is doing billboards and stuff in Peru, if I remember correctly. And that's a really uh, – that's just that additional layer we've been talking about. What, what does Steam it need now? Additional advertising is something that I, I got from some of the community. And so some people are taking that into their own hands. And so with the bounty system, uh, I think that's going to offer a lot more opportunity for, uh, for very, very creative solutions to get more eyes on the Steam it name. Steam it brand. Hmm. So speaking of uh, Fierce Stickin, that's how you pronounce his name, right? First Stickin. First Stickin. Yeah, it's Team Speakin with First Stickin. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's one of those, you know, you guys ever go camping and you get those little metal sticks and you put the hot dogs on it? Absolutely. The roast them? Absolutely. You know, so like you could be like, you know, <laughs> what's that for Stickin? It's for hot dogs. <laughs> oh my god! It's for yeah. sticking hot dogs. <laughs> no offense to for sticking, of course. No, no, no. He's and he's like a fine guy. He's... Although I, I came across, I was just, you know, I was just like, I was just like when I, you know, right before I signed on uh, to talk with you guys, I was just thinking, hey, you know, we're, we've been doing all these interviews, which I, I think are pretty cool. Maybe we need to be like, do a little bit more like breaking news, you know? And so I checked the, the front page of Steemit and I came across uh-huh. my first bad experience with Steemit by Heidi Travels. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. I, and, I, yeah. And in big letters, quote unquote, this man is for sticking. And, wait, no, I should do this in a, in a female voice. Huh? This man is for sticking and he is a liar. Oh my god, this is awesome. Literally right before I jumped in Steam it, this was the topic of conversation that Spruce Sticken was talking about. Oh good. So what's going on, man? Fill us in. Oh, uh, I was actually I jumped in. Drama I, alert. Drama I, alert. I'm a terrible breaking news person, apparently, because I just was wandering around my house. I jumped in, heard, I put my headphones on, heard a little of the conversation, and I had to leave. Um but uh if I remember correctly, this has been going around. Uh, this has actually been an ongoing issue where for Stickin, 
um, set up with this uh, with Heidi travels uh, a time and date to meet. He paid for camera crew. He he straight up dropped money for this big PR campaign in Peru, if I remember correctly. Um, and she did not show up. And she even went so far as to post, hey, I will be staying here at this hostel. So there was very much a, a lot of um, collaboration and coordination uh, to mm-hmm. get this uh, to get this going for Stickens, a man of his word, he put his money where his mouth is and Heidi Travels did apparently not show up. And that is where for Stickin does not take well to people who don't ha- hold up their end of the bargain. Um, I think that's a pretty good character trait. Uh, Definitely. And- and so uh, he he did not he did not take that lightly. And so her for, I, I didn't read the article by the way, but I can already imagine that her first bad experience with us in steam it with Burstickin was because of her own uh, inability to hold up her end of the bargain, blowing smoke out her ass from what I have heard. Yeah, she says she says like um, she never made an she says. Quote, unquote, I never made an appointment with him. I've uh, confronted him and asked him to provide proof that this appointment even existed. Ha-ha. He has yet to provide proof because it does not exist. Oh, oh, this is- that is not what girls all sound like. <laughs> I'm glad we finally have a representative of yeah. the female species. Yes, you <laughs> <laughs> well, from uh, I, I've been kind of what I watched it kind of unfold in chat, and that was kind of where the the accusations of Fershtikin kind of using foul language, which he did use foul language. Oh well. Um, but uh, as I understood it, Heidi had an interview with the Dollar Vigilante at the same time, around the same time. So she kept one interview, maybe stood Fershtikin up. So there was a bit of confusion and drama going on there. Okay. Um, I do have, so hmm. right before I left, uh, right before I left the chat, they did, uh, the last thing that was mentioned was that uh, this was agreed to on the blockchain. Oh, and right. so it, like, because she agreed to it and it was on this blockchain, mm-hmm. oh, Heidi, there is indeed proof is what i've heard and you can't you, the blockchain is law and you your actions are permanently recorded and so it's not like the regular internet that you were used to um where you can delete your history and deny theirs as photoshopped it doesn't work like that here mm. Well, you know, it's interesting and it, and it seems, you know, like neither one of them is really uh, paying the price for it because for Stickens post about it is at $1,200 and hers is at 950 So, I mean, for Stick, it might be winning in that drama, sense. Drama pays. Drama yeah, yeah, exactly. Both sides <laughs> win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I guess well, one of you two can insult me right now so I can make a post about it because <laughs> I really need like $900. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this just in George Donnelly makes fun of ladies' voices. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. I think you have a real winning post. Oh, oh, the, oh, now we know how TV works. <laughs> oh, that's why they got drama on TV. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to have to think up a few more insults and abuse here. Just, you know, that, that'll get Stella Bell involved on your <laughs> side, of course, Renee. And then uh, it'll just go viral. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't All like right. picking sides, though. I like bringing the sides together and working on a solution, which is better for everybody. Collaborative. Or, 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 yeah, or bringing the sides together and watching the fireworks. <laughs> Right? That's but fun for everybody. P- picking up the ruins, you know, the reassembling the ruins is always great. Definitely, definitely. All right, so uh, let's move on to our second segment, which is about a post uh, from Dan the Man about changing the world. <laughs> 